On a rainy night in 2002, at a lively party, the renowned Italian opera singer Andrea Bocelli's life was about to change. Unbeknownst to him, a young woman named Veronica was sitting alone by a piano in an empty room. Her voice, pure and enchanting, reached Andrea's ears, prompting him to call a friend over. Today, they have been together for 22 years. Reflecting on their fateful encounter, Veronica shared her story with The Guardian in 2014. I was 18 and supposed to be somewhere else that night. The weather was terrible, so everyone was late. I found myself by the piano in an empty room, she recounted. It was then that Andrea, captivated by her voice, sent a friend to invite her to his table. As they conversed about music and life, Andrea inquired about her origins, and Veronica found his charm irresistible. However, her mind occasionally wandered to her upcoming exam. Noticing her distraction, Andrea encouraged her to stay, saying, Don't lose the energy. Don't lose the moment. Love is something you don't think about. And so, she stayed. Despite their 12-year age difference, their connection was immediate and profound. That night, inspired by Veronica, Andrea sang his first ever aria, Ochi di Fata, Fairy's Eyes, dedicating it to her. Everybody was there. It was a truly wonderful moment between us, he reminisced. Their relationship progressed rapidly. It was the quickest, speediest start because we moved in together that same night. Effectively, the marriage began when we met, Andrea recalled. In 2012, they welcomed their daughter, Virginia, and after 12 years of dating, they married in an intimate ceremony at the Sanctuary of Montanero in Livorno, Italy, in 2014. Veronica wore an Armano Servino gown, while Andrea donned a blue Corneliani suit. I got so used to not being married that it was strange when we finally did, Veronica admitted. We used to call each other companion, but that sounded too every day. Wife is forever. For Andrea, this was his second marriage. He had previously married Enrica Senzati, whom he met while studying law in 1987. They shared two sons, Amos and Matteo, before their separation. Andrea and Veronica's relationship remains strong, built on mutual desire and understanding. When two people still want to be together in every possible way after many years, it means that one soul completes the other, that we recognized each other, Andrea explained. Veronica and I were soulmates right from the start. Describing his wife, Andrea, now 65, said, She is my best friend, lover, and partner in joy and pain. Beyond their personal life, Veronica also serves as his business manager. Throughout his 30-year career, Bocelli has released 15 studio albums and sold over 75 million copies. She is my go-to person, and she brings peace and unity into our family, he said. I was lucky enough to share not only my private life, but also my professional life with the woman I love. Veronica appreciates Andrea's determination and decisiveness, traits she admires and relies on. What I love about him is his determination and how fast he can make a decision. Indecision makes me very nervous, she said. Family remains central to their lives. The boys are 19 and 17 and don't need us as much as when they were younger, but I cannot tell them enough. I'm always there if they need me. We're all family, Veronica emphasized. Last year, Andrea released a Christmas album featuring his son, Matteo, and daughter, Virginia, highlighting their family's musical talent. Amos, his first son, is a gifted pianist. 
Family is everything to us, especially at Christmas, Andrea affirmed. From that rainy night in 2002 to the present day, Andrea and Veronica Bocelli's story is a testament to love's endearing power and the harmony they create together. <laughs>